How goes everyone? My name is Baby Popcorn, and I want to thank you for joining me today. This is going to be some background footage, uh, so uh, if you enjoy it, please let me know, and I'll play some more NC for you guys. But this is just experimental, really. Um, now for the real reason of this video, I've noticed that Planet Side 2 is kind of hard to explain to newer players, uh, just because the other day one of my friends wanted to play with us, and he's never really played an, an online FPS that I know of, so it was kind of hard to explain the things that were going on, like if we wanted to flank someone or even if we were defending the air, the newer player had no real concept of what was truly going on other than an all-out war. So I'm going to go into some very detailed tips, 10 of them. Uh, that may help you better understand um, Planet Side 2 and it may help your gaming style in Planet Side 2. So, the, one of the first ones is uh, make sure you choose the right server. Uh, my friend made one, made a character new one the other day, and made it on the wrong server. And well, we couldn't play, so we had to make a new one. So, make sure you pick the one that's closest to your area. So, for example, if you're in the East Coast, you're going to choose the Emerald server like I am. Uh, for that reason, it just makes it to where you have a better ping or latency. Number two, make sure you pick your faction that fits your playstyle. Now, I'm going to recommend you try all three. Each class, or each faction rather, is completely different. So just play them. Number three, join squads or platoons. Um, squads are smaller, uh, just random players usually. Uh, platoons are bigger ones and they're used for alerts for bigger fights. Uh, they're really useful because they can help you out and they can help guide whatever mission that you're trying to do at that time. Now number four is the bigger one. It's know your classes. You need to figure out which one you're able to play the best and then work from there. Now just after playing for three years on Planet Side 2, I've actually just started playing all the classes from Infiltrator down to Max. Uh, Infiltrators is great for sniping or sneaking up and taking out enemies behind the enemy lines. Investing into Bounce and Betty's, Claymores, or Proximity Mines, depending on the faction, is a, pretty, a wise thing to do because you'll get unexpected kills. The next class is going to be the Light Assault. They're good for reaching top of buildings, which can give you advantage points in killing other enemies uh, before they can even run into the building, and it gets annoying. <laughs> uh, they also have access to C4 and Mikits. Uh, C4 is one of my favorite things in the game. It's thrilling to, to blow up prowlers and vanguards with them. <laughs> you should try it out. Heavy Assaults are, in my opinion, one of the easiest classes to play in the game. They have a special ability to use a shield, uh, which was just nerfed recently. Uh, they have access to not only the first time weapon, but also a pistol and a rocket launcher. They have access to C4s and med kits. They, well, let's just say they get the job done. Uh, max suits qu cost quite a bit. They're totally worth every 450 nanites spent. Whether you're fighting aircrafts, ground vehicles, or infantry, they are unstoppable with a pocket engineer. Maxes are technically the tanks of the infantry units. Funny thing is, this would be the second easiest class to play in the game, again in my opinion. Now let's talk a little bit about the support classes. Engineers. Some of the most requested people in the game, yet not enough people play them. The engines they repair vehicles, max suits, air vehicles, you name it. Uh, they have access to turrets, the uh, mana turret, and the anti-vehicle one. And they're able to toss down ammo packs. Uh, and let's not forget about them having access to mines. Now, you get quite a few tank kills, sunders, I mean, the whole nine yards. It's amazing. The medics in the game, they do what you expect them to do. They revive and heal folks. Uh, they also have access to medkits and C4. And they can switch out their grenades for revive grenades too. It's pretty convenient to throw a grenade into a room and uh, not even have to go over there to revive, you know, a handful of people or whatever. Now, the next tip for number five is be flexible with the classes. Now, I just went in a little bit of detail what the classes do and a little bit of the roles, but um, just it's helpful to be able to switch from a sniper or, and go into a heavy or go into a light assault. It's extremely helpful for any situation. Uh, one person could be all that's needed to regain control of a point or to take over a facility. Guys, I've seen it done. Number six, know your vehicles. Figure out which ability you need at the moment. For instance, if there's a convoy of tanks heading to the next facility, uh, either an ammo sunder or a healing sunder would help. 
Now, if you're the only one out there, a blockade Sunday might would be best. It just depends on the player. Uh, try out a flash, harasser, and tanks. See which one you prefer. Number seven is super simple, and it only costs just a few certs. Get a flashlight. Now, this has saved me on so many occasions. Um, I have it on all my pistols. If a point is being taken and you know there's a stalker around, use your flashlight to search for them. Uh, if, you, if your light lands on their bodies, it'll expose them lightly, so you can actually look over them if you don't look close enough. Uh, so you can t kill them and take care of business. Number eight. Grenades are very useful in this game. <laughs> Go figure. If you have a second to throw a grenade into a room of enemies, by all means, kill them. But be mindful of friendlies that sometimes randomly get up the courage to run into those rooms. Hitting too many friendlies can result in a gun lock, and it's not fun and lasts for a while. <laughs> Number nine, manage your certs. I think it's one of the biggest problems that newer players have. Now, they just updated the cert system to where between battle rank one and fifteen, you get a little bit more certs, and uh, it, it makes it a lot easier for newer players to be able to gain those and not feel as weak as others. Uh, but with this being said, they have more to spend, so many players just buy things all willy-nilly. Some of the best items to unlock first would be based on what you play the most. So pay attention to the armor slots in your characters, um, you should pay attention to your mines, grenades, C4s, medkits, whichever ones you uh, decided to unlock. Number 10, the one that you guys all been waiting for, and it's my number one tip. Or actually in this list, number 10, but you know. Um, have a good time. That's it. Just have fun. Planet Side 2 is very fun, but most people don't see it that way. Well, considering that when they think this, they're probably being zerged or spawn camped. Uh, if you're not having a good time playing, fix it. Start another character in another faction. Maybe start even interacting with other players. Uh, just don't play by yourself. It can get kind of boring. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I do hope that these tips have helped. If they have, please give it a like and let me know. Um, I will be updating some more videos soon of the game uh, just whenever I can. Right now, school's been kind of rough. But, um, if you guys want to hear a story about what happened to me when I first started playing Planet Side 2 along with Charles, please let me know and I'll tell you guys in, in the comments below. But if you've missed anything in these tips, uh, the, it'll be in the description, so go ahead and click on that down arrow and you can read whatever I've said in a little bit more detail maybe. Just, you know, if you want a certain uh, tip to read for yourself, it's down there. Anyways guys, I do hope you enjoy as I said. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll see you in game. Talk to you later.